Now, you heard the president there speaking ahead of the unveiling of a statue of the first member of parliament for Ablekuma West constituency, Theresa Amele Tego, at the famous Dansuman roundabout. Now, she died some 10 years ago. He's also expected to commission phase one of the Pokwase interchange. Elton Brobe joins us on the line. Elton, tell us a bit more about what the president has been up to on day two of his tour. Right, Elton, can you hear me? Right, uh, so what has the president been up to on the second day of his tour? So we are currently at Abu Bloch market where uh, he is, uh, has become accustomed with the tour so far. Uh, he's just about addressing the uh, traders here and to assure them a government commitment to address their needs. Indeed, in all the matches that we've been so far, the message to them has been that for those who did not benefit from the first government stimulus package. Uh, you know, businesses deal with the impact of the COVID-19. Government has plans to extend similar financial support to uh, such individuals. And for that reason, they should uh, put together their name. The NBSSI will be in touch with them. And the government will send some uh, amount of money to them to help them uh, uh, resurrect uh, uh, the, the, the businesses. But before getting here, the first port of call was at the Dansumam roundabout in the Ablitman West constituency. Now, it was a program to honor the memory of the first uh, member of parliament for that particular area, uh, Theresa Amele Tegu, who died 10 years ago. The government uh, has put together a statue right in the middle of the roundabout to honor her memory. And for those who may not know, uh, Theresa Amele Tegu, her claim to fame can be traced back to the December 1999, you know, real. Uh, when she led protests against the thief government in action over the murder of countless women in the greater Accra region. And that earned her the name Iron Lady. But for the constituents in this particular area, her uh, uncompromising character was uh, and the fact that he, she touched the lives of people in a very positive way through her various roles as MP, uh, Deputy Minister, Minister, and Assembly Member. Uh, they are so excited that government has found the need to honor her in the manner of President of Kupa uh, this afternoon at the Dantuman Roundabout. From here, the, the, the next place will be the Pokerati Interchange. Uh, government officials describe it as the biggest in West Africa. The first phase, according to the rules, is ready uh, to be commissioned and open to traffic to allow a uh, uh, flow of traffic in that particular enclave. And then uh, uh, the program all of us are looking forward to will be later this evening when President of Kupa uh, who will meet that uh, religious leaders, identifiable groups, and the, 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 the point of the meeting is for governments to assure the nation about uh, uh, the president's commitment to ensure a peaceful pool uh, in December. The issue about uh, security, the issue about people uh, having the mm. freedom to go out and exercise their franchise, that assurance is what right. we are expecting to hear. And that's the meeting that will climb up the, the, the two day tour of the Greater Accra region later this evening at the State Fair Centre. Do we know where the president is headed to next after the Greater Accra region? So after the Greater Accra region, tomorrow morning, uh, the, uh, the president will move to the central region. Castor will be the first place to call, and then uh, we'll move to the other parts of the region. He is expected right. to spend two days in the central region. My information is that because of the complex nature of the voting party in the central region, President Kupa is expected to participate in almost every look in front in the central region. More especially when you have the running mate of the NDC coming from this region. The central has always been a strange uh, region. And for that reason, that's how, uh, in part of the limited time available before we go into the pool, three days uh, will be dedicated to the central region. Uh, every village, every community I'm told will be charged, especially in areas that the MPP have not been performing in the last election. And then to the western region uh, for just one day, then to the central region for three days, and then back to the greater Accra region for another two days to climb up uh, the campaign of election Right, thank you very much, Elson Brobe. It looks like a very packed schedule. And Elson, of course, will be with the president's team every step of the way.